My name is Zach Ellis, and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way, along with a few friends, of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and of course, enjoy the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Finally, we are back out here messing with the SRT4 and uh, getting ready for racing. The car needs oil change, it needs a little bit of tune-up stuff, but that's not what we're getting into today. Today we're actually doing a modification, and it's a modification that I've thought about for a long time. I've always wanted to do this. I think it is a it's a visual modification primarily at this point for me, but it also is a performance mod down the road a little bit. Just not as of today, once this is complete, it's gonna be visual and visual only. I'll have to make it functioning at a later date, but to get it actually installed is gonna be the biggest challenge, I think. Um, but either way, my boys over at Stage Racing did this modification, I don't know, a few months ago. <clears throat> I don't know, like two months ago probably and uh, it came out really good. So definitely, I'll link their uh, video in the description if you guys wanna go check it out after this video. But uh, they definitely kinda gave me the inspiration to go ahead and do this. Um, but either way, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you what it is that I bought, what we're installing today, and then we'll, uh, we'll start the process. Boom, there it is. So these are fender vents made by Professional Awesome. They are black powder coated. Um, it's a nice piece. Super simple, it's like, I don't know, 16th steel. It's pretty thin, um, or aluminum, I don't even know. It looks phenomenal, honestly. I could not possibly complain about this. And basically, what this is, is a vent that goes on the fender like this. I don't know, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it on the fender yet. I still have to figure that out, which is, going to be the biggest part of this video this process is just kind of figuring out where to put it on the car um, it the the curvature of that vent doesn't really match up with the curvature of the wheel well very well so it poses the risk of like not a risk but where do I want it to be to not look stupid right we don't want to look like idiots so um, yeah that's what makes this scary. If it was made for the car, it would be way simpler because you know it's going to look decent. If this goes on here and it looks stupid, then I'm stuck with stupid quarters, which I guess I could buy new fenders and have them repainted. Not the end of the world, but definitely not something I actually want to do. Alright, so I think I've got the fender vent in the place where it's going to fall. So it is from this third rivet hole, so one, two, three. From there to the curve of the fender is two inches. From the back hole here to the door well is, what was it? I measured it out. Putting the, now putting the ruler flat with the earth, it's roughly five and a half inches. So in line with the rivet hole there straight parallel with the earth five and a half inches to the back side of the fender i put it on this side i couldn't tell if it was great because i couldn't get too far back so i went to this side without tape behind it and did the same thing mocked it up and i think i think it looks all right all right so now that we've kind of got it all mocked up we know where we want it to be i'm probably going to start with <clears throat> outlining the whole entire fender vent at least most of it that way if I pull it off, I can put it back where it's supposed to be. And then I'll start drilling some of the holes. But one thing you have to remember when you're uh, drilling holes on a flat piece of metal that you're gonna be contouring to the fender is uh, the hole placement's gonna change. So if I push the one corner down and mark the hole and then rivet that one, the nail opposite corner hole might not line up. So we're gonna try and avoid that if we can. Um, shouldn't be a big deal, it's, you know, I've done something similar to this about a trillion times on airplanes so uh going on a car should be pretty simple only this time it's costing me money not someone else <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and get the sharpie mark it all up and then we'll uh sit back and enjoy our uh 
Carnage. Hopefully it's not Carnage, but it could become Carnage. So the next step now is we're gonna want to measure on the vent itself from the outside edge to the inside edge where these vents actually start. And when you measure it, it ends up being about 5 eighths of an inch. So line that we need to cut on the car is roughly 5 eighths of an inch from the outside edge. We're gonna go ahead and measure that on the car so we know what area of this panel needs to be actually cut and removed. see where we got to cut. I am on a little bit of the conservative side on this black line so if I cut directly on the black line that I have marked uh, I'll probably have to grind a hair away with the flap disc um, which again I'm not super concerned with um, but we'll see. I'm gonna cut on the outboard side of it so I hopefully don't have to do that um, just to save myself a little bit of work but Next step now is to cut. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill a hole in each corner um, and then we'll go ahead and connect all those drilled holes and it should be good to go. I will say one thing you definitely want to remember if you're installing one of these on your car is watch what's behind the fender. If, if there's wiring back there or something, make sure you get it cleared out of the way or at least make sure you know where it is so that you do not actually drill into a wire loom because that would be terrible. Uh, I know on this car, I've had it apart so many times, I know there's nothing back there. As long as I don't push the drill real far in, I know that there's nothing right on the surface level behind the, uh, the actual finger itself. guys so that is the final product I uh, I do like it I think it looks really good I'm annoyed that I didn't think about it before to paint behind it black um, I didn't have any black paint all I had was red um, but once I take care of that I think it's going to be a very solid modification I think it looks cool it adds much more of an aggressive appeal to the front end of the car and once I can make these things functioning in a future video um, they're going to be functioning, so they're going to look good and they're going to serve an actual purpose rather than just looks. Because, um, you know, everything I've done to this car has been purpose built. You know, I made a splitter that's functioning. It's not just for looks, it actually works. It creates downforce, it can hold my body weight, um, exhaust that I've made. And now this, uh, we're just trying to create more traction in the front end ultimately. 
This thing's going to help uh, extract that turbulent air inside the fender, creating lift, thus resulting in downforce. But if you guys are interested in this product, I will link it in the description below. Like I said before, it is Professional Awesome's race fender louvers, I guess is what they're called. Fender louvers, fender vents. Um, I paid 150 bucks for them. Comes with the vents, the black rivets. I think there's a template you can print out online for it, but I, I don't quote me on that, I'm not positive. I just don't think the template's really necessary. As long as you put painter's tape down, trace it, and take your time, it, uh, it'll come out great. Came out great on mine. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you sticking around. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did like it, definitely hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips or suggestions for me. Of course, subscribe to the channel to stick around for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one.